It's that time of the day for you to get comfy, kick back, relax. You are now lounging with the Pogles. Get you in a groovy mood. Mm, produced by Hiff the Chef. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, loungers. I'm Candice. And I'm Goth. And you are Lounging, lounging with, with the, the Pomos. Thank you for coming back to our podcast and a warm welcome to all our new listeners. Mm. We um, have some exciting things happening here at the Pomo Residence, you know. Uh, we first uh, took out, we sold our boat, guys, because we're yes. not drowning anymore. It's not leaking yeah. anymore. It's not you swimming know. with the permals anymore. <laughs> yeah, huh? it's lounging. Yeah, we were busy rowing here in our, in our front room. All the water that you have to here in the dock. Yeah. And then we took out the bush. Yeah. Ew. And now Maurice can't do his action thing because there's no bush. <laughs> so Tai got to keep it. Sad. That's why it's sad. Yeah. Tai, it's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, guys, uh, if you don't know about our podcast, where have you been? It's called Lounging with the Permals because mm-hmm. you're literally sitting in our lounge mm-hmm. with us, mm-hmm. listening to us, and we're giving you a bit of an eargasm, you know. Yeah. Um, please check out our Mixcloud page, our YouTube page, our Instagram page, our Facebook page, our personal pages. All our updates are there. We have episodes that we recorded with Leanne van Roy. The mm-hmm. legendary DJ Riri D. Us, yeah. We also interviewed a good NGO called Wordworks. They are doing fantastic things mm-hmm. with our schools. And we also interviewed the creator and owner of clothing brand Astro Drip, whose designs are literally out of this world. So mm-hmm. check it out. Um, also, subscribe to our YouTube page and don't forget to click on that notification bell because we upload every Friday and every Tuesday. And um, but we are making a bit of a few changes, but we'll keep you updated. So follow us on on our Instagram and our Facebook for all updates and announcements. You are listening to my auntie and uncle on lounging with the Pomos. So loungers, let me just take you back to hmm, two thousand and something. <laughs> At the blank? time, yes, two thousand and something. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, Isadingo was the number one soapy on TV. I mean, Uh like, the storylines was fantastic. Um, It was, they were, I think Isadingo was the first soap to really integrate diversity Mm. in, um, in South Africa. And there was a guy who had a, 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 um, a family, I think it was, was his name Xavier? Xavier. Xavier, yes. Frank Xavier. Frank, Frank Xavier. <laughs> and in walks this guy <laughs> on my screen. And I'm like, damn. Doing a girl. Muscles. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I'm talking about. The Omini Dumbles. Yeah. My the mommy. Omini Six Pack. Yeah, the Omini oh, Blink Blesco. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice. Page, everyone. There we go. Hello, 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 family. Hello, permals. Uh, Lounging in the with the permals. Yeah, lekker, yeah. Lekker, man, lekker. Thank you so much for carving out time in your busy schedule mm. and coming to chat to us. It's such an honor. Um, mm. People can hear my smile, and I still can't believe that my husband knows this guy. <laughs> Oh, oh my word, yes, yeah, she's God. sitting, she's sitting and she's doing this in my face, huh? Make it, this is the first time we know each other now, or met each other. Yes. <laughs> she forgot I know her before she even got married to you. That, you know? Huh? That's, how dare, that's, how dare that's, you that's, just make this radio quality? <laughs> just like. <laughs> no, but I mean, this is the first time we're actually chatting, you know, sitting down, because yeah. it's usually business between the two of you, you yeah, know, you're yeah. always mm-hmm. planning, rapping and something, <clears throat> yeah. and so on, but um, thank you so much, and um, I hope we're going to have a liquor chat, I know we will, yeah, I mean, yeah. we've already started laughing, my mom will like climb with your dimple spill. My ears feel good. How do you handle 
those kind of comments. I mean, it's been coming on for a long time now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I <laughs> funny enough, I never knew that I have actually dumbbells. Mm-hmm. To be well, like honestly, I truly to God, I never knew since I stepped on TV for 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 Isidingo. When people started commenting, and I was like, I looked in the mirror for the one time. It's like, nah, man, I don't see any dumbbells. Cause I don't see what the people are seeing. Yeah, okay. This okay. is our true story. And I was looking in the face, literally doing my face, like, you know, like, look, like what the woman would do with a, looking for a pimple or something. But because all I had at the time as well was a lot of pimples, you know? Okay. Yeah, so I was like, nah, man, the means and the rookies every time, you know? And why? Because I could never, only I think after, the, after I took note of it a year if not maybe less than that mm. I, I i saw what people actually were talking about I was like but what is the, what is the about a dimple that people are going on mm. about I, that's my question actually <laughs> to you since you mentioned it please oh, it's yeah. when you smile but it's, what about the dimple i think it just adds <coughs> character to your face and really it lights up your eyes because mm. my when i show my mom like mommy this guy's coming <gasps> Oh, he's sexy in us. That's his eyes. <laughs> and then when she saw you now, she can't remember that she met you. <laughs> and <laughs> runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, and then she was like, yo, you must tell him I want to play with this dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, honestly, I, I really, I really don't get it. But I get, I guess mm. it's a, it's a, it's a thing for people. Mm. Uh, you know, the dimples and what they say. You know, the eyes and the mm. head. I think it's one of those things, probably. That's just one of <laughs> those, those things, things man. Yeah. Everyone but has thank a you. I, I appreciate yeah. it. Your, uh, the, uh, your dumple is more famous than your <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I, yeah, definitely. I, I, I <laughs> agree with you. I agree. I agree. <laughs> uh, uh, so, I mean, um, like my experience um, meeting you, I mean, we have met, guys, we have met before. Yeah. You know, okay. You, um, you, uh, you quite a quiet guy. Yeah. Really. You're, quite, you're quite a quiet guy. Mm. And I mean, I, I, and we, we actually had this conversation before, you know, we, um, one of our guests was saying, you know, what you post on social media is not always real life. True. You mm. want people to see <coughs> this. Mm. So I look at you on social media, like you are habo um the ho and all that. And then I meet you and like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so plat is a manure up late. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just our perceptions of people, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. It's the same. And then, you mm-hmm. know, I, I totally agree with you. And sometimes you think like, okay, what can I actually post on, on, on social media if, if we have to talk about social media? Because mm. it came later in our lives. Mm. Um, but it's that thing of you put out, you try to get out of your skin and just, and because you want to be funny or you want to be just who you are sometimes, mm. you know. Mm-hmm. And what you put on on, 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 on on social pages or wherever the case may be, you actually put on a character, you know, because you want to attract something that can mm. benefit you. You, yes. you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. So that's what mostly happens with, with the social pages. And when mm. people, when they see you in the street or in the mall or whatever, and then they see a total different person mm. and they basically judge you on that. Mm. Yeah. It's then when they forget about, oh my gosh, this person doesn't have a life. He's not a human being. He's just walking into a mall to get his stuff and come out and walk. Yeah. Maybe he had a bad day. Maybe he had some bad news on that day. Exactly. And then they judge you on that thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's funny. It's weird, but it's something that you had to make peace mm. with for a long time in your life. And I've learned, like, okay, you can make your own. You ha- you're entitled to have your own perception mm. about me. It's cool. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Yeah. Jazz. And social mm-hmm. media literally teaches you how to have a thick skin. skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it, it, it's also like just the, the, this, there is an ugly side to it. But you know what? Yeah. It's all peace and love on lounge with the Pomo. So, course. you know, let's just get into it. Let's get it. Where are you originally from? Heidelberg Cape. Uh, that's my, my, my born town. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Heidelberg has been a part of me since I can, well, since I can remember. But I was born in, 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 in Maitland, in Groteskeer. So, um, but Heidelberg, I prefer to, to, to say to people, or, well, that I believe firmly that I am from, that I was born and bred mm-hmm. from. And uh, for me, because Heidelberg is a place that, that actually, you know, that, that carved me as the person that I am today. I can't say that Cape Town has me like this. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. I can't, because uh, Cape Town doesn't have any growth as into what kind of person I am. Okay. It, it has some sort of growth in me, but more the... The other side where people what what people don't know about and i mm-hmm. prefer not people to know mm-hmm. about mm. but that is also what created what what added to the character and to the person that i am today mm. you know what i mean but heidelberg is the place that actually you know what you see 
is what has created. Oh. Yeah. And Heidelberg clearly produces some great actors. Yeah. Christo. Yeah. Not just have... actors, a whole lot of other things as well. Eh? Okay. Lawyers, businessmen, uh, accountants. Um, um, How far what else? out is Heidelberg from? It's about a two hour drive from Cape Town. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's, just, it's just before Swellendam, I mean, after Swellendam and just before Riversdale. Oh, not so far. Yeah, okay. that's not so far. It's two yeah. hours that I've. It's a very small town. I'm not mm. saying it's going to Dorpy. It's not a plus as well. Mm. It's mm. a very small town. Town, yeah. That produces a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, who in this world can say, like, with three actors, popular actors? Five this, actors. Five. Five who's, actors. Who's, wait, who's so yes. it's Christo? It's Christo, Theo, me, Robin, William, William, uh, uh, Willie, Willie Adams, Willie Williams. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's, there's, they, and they all were on Seven uh, The one was recently also on St. Worcester. Um, and there's a few more upcoming as well. So, so far it's five. What is in the water? Yeah, in the water. Look, it's a big water. Schoen, crystal clear. And how is it like when you guys link up, you know, knowing that, um, look, I, I'm going to put you on a pedestal. You are Maurice Page. You know, mm-hmm. so for me, you are someone. <laughs> now you're linking up. I mean, when I met Theodore also, I was like, oh my goodness, we have photos to prove it, actually. Yeah. And now, like you, Theodore, Christo, like you all go home and like you like, how yeah. is it, man? Yeah. That dynamic for you guys. Yeah. Now you see, for me personally, if I have to just speak from my side, mm. um, when I go home, because Goliath David who actually planted the seed for actors, you know, the acting mm. world in Heidelberg. He has, he has opened up a lot of doors for a lot of people as well. And he has also opened up that plant for people to understand what actors is and what the job is. Okay. So when we go home and when we used to go home, we, you know, when we landed the TV shows and all mm. of that, they never made a big fuss of it because to them it's like just Mo, oh, Maurice, I say he's better, he's whatever, carry on with our normal lives. Okay. That's the one thing that I also love about Idol, but yeah. they never used to make a fuss about <laughs> us being yeah. on TV uh. and, you know, what they call famous because I don't believe I'm not famous. But, they never believed in that, you know, because mm. for them, we just normal. Yeah, you know, there's my OPT TV and so on. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. come home, we carry on with those Drunkos Black Label, yeah, and those yeah. Lambdas, or OPT mm. or you know, in the corner, sit in front of you, have a coffee, whatever the case mm. will be, you know, in the stories. And, 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 that's, and, and that's, that's, that's Heidelberg, man. It's a little bit of it, but, you know, I always, get, until today, that's a place that I go to if you want to breathe, if you want to just take a, just a you know, mm. like a breather from from the city life or whatever the case. Just yourself. to get away, yeah. yeah. Mm. And it brings you right back to where you started, and you actually remember, yo, this is your purpose. Mm. This is why you do what you do. That's so nice, you know. And Heidelberg will always be that place for me personally. No, like yeah. man. So acting. Yeah. How did you get into acting? Yeah. Acting, you know, I I got into acting. Um, I remember I was a very sports fanatic. I was into sports, funny enough. I never used to think that I was an actor. Until um, someone got sick, because um, there was a drama group in Heidelberg called, uh, well, still today, uh, Kairos Drama Group. Okay. So it was a BTM's, uh, BTM's uh, drama group, uh, but with people who were not by come in mm-hmm. productions on your and so on. Mm-hmm. And um, so this one time they were prepping for the Oatswaring, uh, the festival, what Klinker uh, National Kunst Festival. Oh, okay, yes. So we're prepping for that, and the, the play, they were doing the play Summer Year. And um, Leon played the character that I actually ended up doing, and it was called Corky. Now, if you know, if I'm talking about Corky, then you should think about the Steve Urkel character. Yes. You hear what I'm Corky. saying? Yeah, okay. Corky. <laughs> And uh, he got sick a week before the time, and I was, you know, put on an on page and on stage, you know, to prep for this part a week before the time. And then I jumped into it, and and what, what, and what, what, and I performed it on the on the on the, at the festival, and I won best supporting actor. And ever since that Jeez. time, awesome. I never looked back. Wow! That's how I actually basically got into it. When people saw it, but my, but the main thing about it was I saw that people actually give you a standing ovation for the that you do on stage <laughs> yeah, for being funny <laughs> I was like damn that is good I don't have to wait a week for people to every time you know I yeah. can do it every day if yeah. this is the situation I never knew I was as funny <laughs> fuss fuss 
thank you, Leon. Fast, yeah, nah. <laughs> well, you know, it was a blessing in disguise that he had to get sick to give me opportunity, you know. What is Leon saying now? Like, after that, he we was... We actually said, never talked about it, eh? We never looked really? at it in that in that way. Okay, I, I, okay. Me, a few years after that, I I started to realize, but yo, my bro, you, ain't, you actually gave me opportunity. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, it wasn't you. It was God. Yes. Was like, he made sure yeah. it was my time to actually yeah. people see what kind of talent uh, this little boy or this nobody has. Yeah. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Uh. And uh, <laughs> But obviously in a good light of things, you of know. Of course. Um, but yeah, that that's how I got into it. Eh? And, mm. and I never stopped acting um, uh, theater yeah, productions. In, yeah. yeah. Uh, every year I was in festivals, competitions. I used to won like many, 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 many awards with Crystal with you, uh, you know, with the time, Leroy Davids, um, Ash Wardles, you know, Andre Hein, Ricardo January. You know, those are the guys that actually formed the apple that you know when you b- take a bite from it, you're definitely mm-hmm. going to get something mm-hmm. positive out of it. Mm-hmm. You know, those are the guys that I still today look up to and still now and then. We don't talk as much, but I know, you know, they know yeah. whenever we talk, when we touch base, it's about that uh, about, about that time. Nice, man. But yeah, that's that's how I got into it until I actually, in a Heidelberg, shot my first TV production as well. It was uh, the, wimp, the engine uh, advertise. The advertisement? Uh, yeah. Okay. You, know, so you shot it? You, no, not me. Oh, well, oh, oh, oh. I got the opportunity to <laughs> oh, shoot my uh, first TV oh, appearance in Heidelberg yes, yes, for yes. engine. Just yeah. So so yeah. So everything happened for me actually, you know, In, on my ground. Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. And I read somewhere you were also a cameraman at one point. Um. For on TV or something. Mm, no. On, oh, on TV. That yes, was a character yes. on 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 East oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. That was it. Was it was just a camera guy. Yes, that he, yes, yes. You know, a production yeah, guy. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Calvin, Calvin, not Maurice. <laughs> yeah. How was Calvin? Okay, look. You said now you you don't see yourself in that way when you go home. Also, nobody sees you like you know. Mm. James Manet, Maurice Page. Yeah. Um, but clearly, you must have know about the magnitude of. Attention mm. that came from you being playing Calvin because I mean we were where were we and people were still calling you Calvin. I'm yeah, like, yeah, is yeah. it Calvin, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think I that, know that was, was the it? thing also, Maurice. Eh? Uh, when mm. we do you remember we used to do the shows uh, uh, back in the day? Yeah, like the old yeah. Bucket Boys thing. Yes, um, doing your um, like your your uh, what you call it. Your single that you came out with. Yes. And uh, the people were still like calling you. Like, Calvin. Hey, Calvin. Yeah. Calvin. Yeah. 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 And we like, we so Calvin. Yeah. That's Maurice. That's so Calvin. Yeah. 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 So people still call you that. Yeah. It's it's weird how, how that character actually came uh, uh, came in my life and he took over my life. Eh? I must I must say that I compliment and I am thankful for him. Because Calvin actually is a dingo. Um, you know, that catapulted gave me, you into yeah wow. it put me in another bracket because mm. um, I wasn't just the character because the, the the guy Calvin gave me actually more to what life can actually give me because he has put me into doors into platforms into people's offices and to get to know people mm. that I never thought I would ever 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 meet mm. you and know? you played a Cape colored guy like yeah and I was the first you yes. were. Clint Brink was before me on it. Um, he had yes. a backstage and uh, but he generations. Wasn't, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't Cape Flats. He wasn't Cape Flats. He wasn't Cape Flats. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and and uh, Kim Engelbrecht as well. They yeah. didn't play Cape Flats characters. Mm-mm. They play, didn't play the you know. It so I fluffy. was the very first mm. one that came on national TV and actually said, "I wear massacre." Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now nah, you don't. Yeah. Now nah, you. Mm. Now nah, you don't tell me. Yeah, uh, no, yeah. not no. You don't. You don't nah, tell you don't me. tell you don't me. Tell yes, me. I do my own thing. It was like breathing for you. I yeah. think that is why people still call you called you Calvin because yeah. it was, it was so natural. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, nah, so the, Cal, the Calvin, he Calvin, he was a, he was really a boy who brought a lot of things in my life. He he opened up a lot of doors for me, and I, until today, I'm I mean I'm three years on on St. Worcester now, and people still call me Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> really, they can't. It, they they can't top the the mm. this, 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 the tyrant character. Mm. It's only here and there where people will say tyrant, but still people believe that I'm Calvin. Yeah, I think it's because it feels natural. It was. That's why. That. Yeah, that you, just, you, you, you can't just get over that, that character. Yeah. That yeah. It was normal. It was natural. I think that's why people mm. they won't remember like the Maurice, but yeah. they'll, they'll yeah. remember the face and then. 
Calvin. But also they give me a job of work to do now because I feel like, damn, I'm failing the character Tyrant because uh, now I need to go home and work hard and to see, but how can I actually, you know, top Calvin like, for them to remember Tyrant? Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know what? I think, Maurice, I, I'm honest now. When I saw your character for the first so I saw your character, but I saw muscles, <laughs> cute face then. So I was like into Calvin. Uh-uh. Yeah. But... I must be honest, when I saw Calvin and the character, I stopped, I used to switch over because it was almost like I was looking into a mirror of my life Mm. and I wasn't ready for Cape Flats on TV Mm. because I identified with it like in a negative. Yeah. And obviously, as time goes on, uh, your character grew on me yeah. and it was very, because then the storyline really became very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the Calvin broke through. Yeah. And that is why people still see you yeah. as Calvin. They're mm. always like, you know, because yeah. you, you, your character broke through that, mm. um, like like you said about Clint Brunk, you know, yeah. the, the fluffy colored. Yeah. You actually, there was, now... There's a real Cape Flats colored, and mm-hmm. I think that's where people mm-hmm. just still yeah. stick on. And I agree yeah. with you. A lot of people uh, uh, said it at the time. I remember very clear, like yesterday. And because Frank was so proper. Yeah. That's you know what I mean? That was the difference. Yes. I brought another dimension to him yes. that yes. people didn't know that he had. Yes. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> and it also, you know, at a time, it was a thing that everybody is scared about to talk about, to mm. scared of talking about. You know, it's that. The father, he left uh, his mother and left the child behind. Mm. And then the child actually looked the way I do the time sacrifices to go and look for the father, mm. but to go and cause mm. in his life. Mm. Yeah, mm. Yeah. You know? And not everybody want to see that because the yes. father is now a high and proper. He's got yes. money and whatever line in life. Yes. And he came out and he did it the way he knew best in it being himself. Yes. Mm-hmm. And people who followed that journey could mm. actually see what you're talking about. Yes. The breakthrough as yes. to why he had to change. He had to go and make peace. Mm. So let his father see who he is. Mm. And then he won't be able to change him to become like him. But mm. he will be his own man mm. in his own righteous way. You get what I'm saying? No, don't get so, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So that's amazing. How did you unwind from Calvin? I mean, I know, I know you stole like, <laughs> but but like, how did you um, do you know unwind from from him? Um, you know, I I still haven't. The character is not dead. The show is gone, but mm. the character is not dead. Um, mm. um, I never did. Um, the plan was just to take a, pre- a break from and just to do start doing other things. Okay. Um, but. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If there is ever opportunity to pick him up to bring him back, mm. to bring the show mm. back, whatever, I think you know, um, yeah, people will be happy. I think uh, so too. Yeah. I think so too. So tell us about Tyron. Tell us about Tyron. In Tyron is though. another character. Yes, he is. Yes, mm. uh, he's. I think twice as much as what Calvin was <laughs> as a man. Okay. You know, because he's a self-sufficient boy. He's okay. he's a hustler. You know, okay. but in a good way. He do something bad, but in a good way to actually get out the good way. You know what I mean? He will use something or he will take something, but he will place it. You know, he's not a scallum type of white. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But he, like I say, he's a hustler and he's, he's a good boy. He's a caring boy, mm. you know, and he's, and he's a, he's a guy that, 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 he's that very never, sweet. He's a very sweet yeah. character. Is, yeah. That he's never had any family love. So he, the time when he got, when he found out that he's got a brother. That was his main purpose, to create a family and to actually experience family love, and which is what, which is what he did eventually, mm-hmm. you know. And then he also found the person like Leanne, who's his, 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 his love of his life. You know, that's also a different dimension. But also for him, he believed that who he is is who you will get. He's a mechanic. Mm-hmm. He's a hustler. Mm-hmm. And you fell in love with a mechanic hustler. Mm. <laughs> if that's what you see, uh, he dress whatever he dress like. If uh. he goes to a fancy party, if he feels like he want to put on something, that's him. Yeah. He's going to stand out because he is who he is. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's not going to dress up and all look also fancy like everyone else, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and he's he that character, you know, and I always say the uh. tyrant is more closer to my grandfather. My grandfather was a character and he was a railway man. <laughs> <laughs> a what man? A railway. He used oh, to work on okay, a railway. railway you know? Yes. And uh, I always say he's very close to my to my grandfather because he say whatever has come to his mind, mm. and he everything needs to be a joke, you know everything needs to be big, uh, uh, and that's him. He he's bringing the humor to whatever situation. If there's a sad situation, a bad situation, mm. you know, 
he brings out the humor in it. And if he's angry, the whole world stands still because everybody needs to say, I'm angry now. Yeah. <laughs> like you see the difference now. You get what I'm saying? Like, now there's... Like, like, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, but there's a, there's a huge, huge, huge twist to his life right now which I can't talk about Mm-mm. but I think people people, uh-uh. people gonna love it people gonna love it I can't I'm so excited about the storyline oh, nice, and man. I've never been excited in a long time about a story this one is really gonna change Cape Town's perception about TV wow yes I'm actually investing a lot of time into it Ooh. so it's gonna be very 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 interesting and you guys are the first that actually let them sit down and talk about it and Thank I hope you. it's gonna go hit waves to tell actually to hear the people here about what about the situation mm-hmm. and I want them I'm urge him to watch it with her from this point onwards okay yeah. we are yeah. definitely going to then yeah. start recording our PVR this will go to, now we're going to explore <laughs> not PVR, PVR. Not PVR. Yeah. we're not yes. back in the day is it dumbbells no I don't see dumbbells <laughs> so we had Leanne on, and she was telling us about, you know, what happened with her and with Farah, the character, yeah. and so mm. on. And um, have you experienced, like, the negative of... Mm. She obviously experienced the negative. Mm. Like the bashing, yeah. Yeah, the bashing. Mm. Have you ex- experienced something like that with your characters that you've ever played? Um, yeah, you know, I, I think that, that, that comes with... What what you get, you know, there needs to be some negative into it. But I'm a person, I don't look into any negative stuff. Man. Mm. Yeah, I take it and I rather build on positive things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I don't talk about negative stuff as well. You know, I, don't, I believe in um, whatever we're going to do at the end of the day, whether it is you are working in Sobrite or Checkers or wherever, there is going to be negative stuff. Yep. You know, to whatever Always. character that you are building, there's going to be negative elements, mm. you know. It's up to you if you're going to pay attention to it because what you give attention, that's going to grow. Mm. That's mm. actually going to grow. So I believe not to focus on any negative stuff. I, I take it on, I, I face it, and then mm. I, and I chuff it. Oh, cool. You know, because yeah. I believe it's like a plant, man. You mm. know, if you give it water, it's going to grow. Mm. It's going to grow the way you want it to grow. Mm. And that's the same with the negative, any negative thing that you, that you, that you accept in your life. Yeah. If you water it, it's going to grow. Mm. It's mm. going to be there all the time. So you just take it on. It's part of the job. And it's part there of it. we go. Yeah. It's part of it. in, in positive energy instead that's of negative. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the most important thing, man. Mm. It's okay. the most important thing. So you are also like a part-time rapper. That's how it I used to be. <laughs> that's how I <laughs> when I met Gino. God and I was like, oh, you know Maurice Page. <laughs> so tell us about the part I'm rapping. Yeah, <laughs> man, you know, this was this came a, a while back when I met Bakhat Boys and was still oh. with, with Bakhat. Um, I wanted to do, to get into music because I believe I was a performer, you know. Mm-hmm. I used to love entertain people on a stage. And I was like, I was looking at, I like, um, at other elements, how I can use my, my talents, you know. And I was like, okay, maybe music. And before I came to them, I used mm. to just test my waters first to see what I, if I can rap or whatever. It's like, yeah, man, just do it. Uh, uh. You can't make, it's, it's fine to make your name hot, you know. It's yeah. cool. It's yeah. like yeah. nice. I want to make your name hot. Uh. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, you know, surprisingly, I, I, you know, I came about and I did what I did. And, you know, with time, I, f- I figured out that, yeah, you know, maybe it's not for me. Okay. It's not for me. Um, so I didn't put it aside. I still mm-hmm. had some sort of hope for it. Mm-hmm. But I never took it on as my first priority, mm-hmm. like my acting, like where I am now. Yeah, like I'm yeah. investing into this, into this industry like i never done before, uh, you yeah. know. So, yeah. So the music was just there as a as a thing for me to grow to see if I can do it or okay. not and if I would have succeeded the way I wanted to succeed it yeah. I would have left acting yeah, because okay. the two would yeah. have never you know yeah. mm-hmm. but unfortunately it, did. it didn't okay yeah and you did uh, uh, and what's the track's name um, that was still Clever. Yeah. Oh, when you were one time brand ambassador yeah, for, for, for Clever. Clever. So that was my first opportunity. It's like, okay, let me use this, man. Yeah. yeah. No, it was liquor. Yeah. It was fun. It was a banger. And still today, people said if I must put out the uh, song now, it would be a, a, a classic hit, yeah. apparently. So I was like, yeah, yeah maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe so in a, in a couple of years. Maybe like a remix or something. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> of the beat. And I think you uh, produced the beat. Yeah, I did yeah. the beat still. Yeah. Yeah. And that beat I did on that, that evening, yeah, yeah. 
I just thought, yeah, I go Maurice got the beat likes you on. Yeah. Do you have the song? This is a valid beat. Like as, ready for us to play. I, I, I don't think it's on here. Oh, okay. Mm. But okay. I'm definitely going to add it into the audio. You yeah. add it into mm. the audio, liquor mm. man. Can listen to it. Yeah. So you also, so you were a uh, clever clothing at one sta- as one stage. Yeah. Now you are ambassador mm. for um, Magnum and mm. high tech. Mm-hmm. You look really good in your pics. I mean. <laughs> I look we, dangerous and yo, you got some deeper emotion on my skin. Never mind. On one of our previous podcasts, we had um, uh, uh, um, w- uh, making a movie out of things that's happening in South Africa, mm. and one of the movie <laughs> at that time was Jacob Zuma, mm. um, ex-president. He was um, he didn't want to appear before the Zondo Commission, and we thought like. If this had to be a movie, yeah. then Mm-mm. who would play a badass actor? To bring him in. Actor, mm. Yeah, to bring him in. <laughs> and we both were like Maurice Page. <laughs> you know, the storyline would go in, you would go in after hours and you'd disarm the security and you'd swoop in and yeah. grab Jacob uh, Zuma. Uh, uh. And lo and behold, in that week, you posted a picture where you in like tactical gear and I'm like mm. can you see and everything yeah. can you see and we were like yo yeah. Yeah, yeah this is what we spoke about a week ago that was weeks ago. so <laughs> cool funny <laughs> enough that you say that because I'm busy in the process creating producing gonna play it and directed my own action a, a comedy <laughs> action movie <laughs> well, short film <laughs> <laughs> nah, nice. yeah, so I'm busy in the process of uh, planning on shooting it in September. Oh, nice. September, man. October. Yeah, so so that's weird enough that you actually get you guys thinking that way. But yeah, that's that's the whole purpose of actually also collaborating with these tactical companies. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, and yeah. like like Magnum, like t- mm. um, tactical defense. Uh, um, yes. You know, so. So yeah, that that is in the pipeline, and yeah. Justin Riedeling is he's writing actually my short Whoa. film, and he's a boy from Easterfi. Nice. Um, he's, yeah, he's gorgeous. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's a very very talented, very very talented writer. I never knew. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he got me because he wanted me to read his 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 his, um, his series that he wrote. Mm-hmm. You know, but mm-hmm. nobody wanted to take it on. Nobody in the industry wanted to read his play. Oh, you know, and okay. then he contacted me and I said, Nah, I'm going to send it. Let me, let me mm. just read it. Let me, because you know, and because uh, I'm all about helping my people, and then. I read it, I was like, yeah, the light is most talented. Mm. The way he writes, his, his, his vision, his world that he creates and the way he's writing it, and I was like, nah, I must have this light on board. Because mm. at the time, I was looking for someone to write my, my, my short film. And I met up with him, I told him, listen, I will do you a favor, I won't ask you anything, I will do whatever I can for you to get actually your series out there, if that's what you want. And uh, all I want from you is just write me something. Here's my idea. Mm. And he said, no problem. And we wrote, uh, uh, he wrote something for me. And it's like, so we reworked that. But at the same time, working on this thing. So I, the more I read his series, I was like, bruh, there's actually potential here. Mm. Mm-hmm. There's potential for Netflix or Showmax. So I told him, leave my thing for now. Let's concentrate on yours. So my attention is right there. So we're planning, we're in pre-work, I mean, in pre-production right now. Nice. We we busy with uh, settling Western Hotel in, in Cape Town yeah. to shoot it there, so 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 yeah, man, that's that's happening. It's gonna be uh, my first project actually to take on his his baby, to direct and produce for him. Lovely. Yeah, but I'm not gonna play uh, in that one. Yeah, but I'm gonna direct it. So when is the action hero coming out? That's later. Oh, that's later. That's my one. Oh, that's my yeah, idea. It's your one. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you're gonna obviously be ripping some. Liquor sexy Magnum boots. Oh. Yes, yes, yeah. Now I'm definitely going to be dressed yeah. in Magnum. Oh, you mean oh, only, I'm... only the Magnum boots? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, Kath, oh, how you oh, buy? Oh, how you got that gutter? Take out the brain out of the gutter. He's got, don't, he's got clothing on people. Right. Stop it! I like it. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my but you Lord. obviously take care of yourself, you know. Yeah. Um, mm. You. In your pics, you can see like the muscles are bulging and so on. And you were also doing, you did bodybuilding. Yeah, I used to do bodybuilding. Yeah, not anymore. Um, But I just picked up, I just started training again because Mm -hmm. I'm actually working like Dwayne The Rock Johnson now, literally 24 hours. Work, 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 work out. Work, 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 work out. Okay. Because Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to be... I wanted to be the first person in in Cape Town, South Africa, to actually do an action movie. Mm Mm-hmm. But um, that unfortunately has been given to a very good friend. Okay, okay. Uh, because of certain reasons that I couldn't go on, mm, on mm, set. Mm. 
So I decided like, nah, man. Mm. Let me create my own thing. Mm -hmm. The opportunity mm -hmm. was there, but it was meant for someone else. Mm -hmm. Let me, this, maybe this is my opportunity to create my own thing. And then I started jumping into the idea. And I was like, okay, cool. Who's my inspiration? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Mm -hmm. Let me work twice as hard now to actually get my body so in action pack. You know what I mean? Yes, mm -hmm. yes So that's yes. what I'm doing. And I even got a new tattoo already Ooh. and all of that. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I have a vision for myself, you know, and not just because I want to produce it. I want to direct it and I want to play the lead in it. And I have secured all my main cast already. Where they don't even have a script. Ooh, and I've nice. secured the place where I want to shoot it. You know? So I have uh, placed, I mean, already booked my sound uh, sound people. You know, they said, now nah, they love my ideas. So I'm busy talking to a production company right now. Yo, you get things so, moving, eh? Yeah. You get things moving. Yeah, so, so everything happens under the carpet yeah. at yeah. the moment, yeah. So, so this all it. obviously happened during 2020 for you. Yeah. 2020 has been yeah. a good year for a lot of people, eh? Yeah. No, Positive year. Yeah. Definitely. definitely. Yeah, one of our guests, we also said, you know, like if you, a lot of people took it uh, in a negative way, but if you really took it in a positive way, yeah, no. sure, you're going to reap the benefits of 2021. I was saying it the other day in front of Hollywood actors, you know, I know a lot of people take took the COVID situation and I know it took a lot of people like lives as well I know mm, that mm. and you know I feel sad about it and it's, un it's the unfortunate thing but while I still had breath in my body and while I still had the blessing to wake up in the morning you know and still do something about the fact that I can still breathe I took that as a positive thing mm. you know I tried to whatever I have make it work whatever idea came up I put it down I tried to make it work mm, and mm. eventually two or three worked Mm -hmm. You know, and I mean, a film festival, international film festival was created in, in COVID. Yeah. You know, we just had it now. We finished it off yesterday and it was successful. You know, it, it, that's what COVID has done for us. You mm -hmm. know, the idea was born in COVID level five. Um, you know, we carried through. We worked, you know, mm -hmm. Zoom meetings, more mm -hmm. Zoom meetings here and there. And it was successful. And it forced people to think out of the box. Yes, yes it did. And yes. not be so dependent on like face to face, you know, use technology, but use mm. it to your advantage now. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, no, awesome, definitely. Man. Man. Yeah. And you were also one time. No. How did pop, lock, and roll come about? Yeah. And the we, dancing specifically. We, when did we watch it? It was about. It came on. Now recently, yes. it was last about year on Show Max. Yeah, it came on uh, again this year. On, it was now about on, yeah, two weeks ago or something. Two, two weeks, uh, but no, two about two months weeks. ago. Yeah. Yes. Mm, okay. And yeah. then we watched it for the first time mm. yeah. because I did have it recorded. At, uh, I think the TV and everything was on this side. Yes, we, we had a broken roof. <laughs> yeah. And then it rained into our, our decoder. Yes. <laughs> and then Damn. I lost it. I was so upset. It was so bad. Because I had it for all it. of two days. The new yeah? decoder. <laughs> I, I couldn't watch it, and I was so upset. And when finally, when it came on, and yeah. I was like, no, Kate. And mm. then we both watched it. We yeah. Like, Van Van Ark and Maurice dance? Yeah. Every time we went in, I was so long. I was like, Joel Dibarara. Were you always yeah. a dancer? Yeah, I used to be a break boy, a break dance boy. How I used to dance for this? ghetto <laughs> shoulders when I was staying in <laughs> Easterofi <laughs> with uh, Azanian Flames. Yo, what? Um, what? Yeah, we used to battle in Mitchell Splain there against, uh, um, 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 what was the guy's name again? Uh, 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 uh. What's the famous guy? He's, 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 he's a world champion right now as well, man. Um, What's about, uh, oh, Benny. Uh, Benny. Benny. We used to yeah. battle against him when he was still up and coming. Just so Benny I used to. Benny won yeah. now. Oh. fourth time again. Yeah. Sure. So that was many, many, many years when I was still at school. When I used to dance. And then... Um, so that um, wasn't Ziggy. doubles that we saw. No. That was me. For, For real. What? I'll tell you the story now. Ziggy <laughs> is... Um, <laughs> Um, 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 Gray Hoffmeyer was the creator of his dingo. Yes, yes, yes. His son is Ziggy Hoffmeyer, so he was he just started to do his own films, right? And then he wanted to produce a dance film because his his woman, his girlfriend at the time, was into dancing, and then like I think the idea came up with that with there it was started there. And then he did auditions right around the country and he couldn't find someone who can act and dance. Mm -hmm. And then his father told him, but listen, why don't you speak to Maurice? Because his bio said that he's a dancer. And he, you know, and then he contacted me 
And we spoke, and I told him, but yeah, I used to do this and whatever the case would be. And then he asked me to do a few things, do moves and whatever. Obviously, I was stoked every the time, <laughs> you know, but I had just the basics still I could, you know. And then he said right there and then, but damn, the job is yours, the character, you know, the part is yours. And then they planned the, the pre-production, and I think it was six months after that, and he said, okay, well, we plan, planned with this dingo. And mm -hmm. I took two months off, and that's where that's when I went back to level one, started practicing dancing every single day for eight hours for two months before we actually shot the wow. movie. Sure. Yeah, and that's that's how I got back into it. I must be honest, that movie's dancing is so good. Like yeah, no. all the characters, they yeah, the guys are really they good. They really put their heart. I mean, some. I mean, let's be honest. You know, some some South African movies, the uh, it's just like way, it's not tight. Yeah, but the dancing was the choreographing. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. done so very well. Yeah, they were, I, they were I, I even I even told Candice, I think this movie was it had such an impact on me because I was a dancer back in the day. I did mm. choreographing as well, hip hop choreographing, and um, this movie was nicely cut. It was finished very well. Mm. Very well. It, no, it actually made some of the American dance movies look like mm. five up movies. Mm. Yeah, it's so you know true. Yeah. Because it was done so well. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I think, I, you know, Ziggy sure. them, they took their time with the movie as well. You know, mm. the only problem there was the marketing. The marketing was not as what it's supposed to be to mm. actually make it that big. Okay. But it did the numbers in the theaters. Mm. It did the numbers on, on, on Showmax, uh, on Netflix. Um, so, yeah, it got actually, and I got nominated for Best Actor as well. Best, mm. Yeah, Best Actor in an yes. international f festival, yeah. Um, so that's one good thing that I actually can't take away from it. So, mm. yeah. No, but it's good. I mean, I'm not a South African movie. But I, I can't watch a whole movie. Like, I get... <laughs> yeah, you normally just watch a whole movie. I get bored because yeah. the acting was bad. But I watched it from start to finish and it was mm. really, yeah. really good. Yeah. And, you know, um, uh, uh, um, when I said earlier on about the, uh, um, facing the... The, the honesty of, of the character or the truth of the character um, like even like Numi's uh, what's the one that, that I didn't watch is it Numi Is that one yeah, yeah like even that movie like I can't, for me it's just so I can't man mm. I'm not ready to face it mm. but mm. with Pop Lock I was like <laughs> any between the two of us seriously we really thought it was like a stunt demo yeah it was <laughs> it just it, doing the dancing no, so me. well done it was well, well, well done, done. Well, yeah, yeah <laughs> and Based on that, that was shot five years ago. That was five years ago that we shot that. So now also a production house uh, contacted me for a real dance um, movie. And he wants me to, to real dance. And I was like, because based on he saw the movie that I can dance. And I was like, bro, how, how, many, how many years ago is that? <laughs> how, I've done bodybuilding competitions. All my ligaments and my muscles is so stiff. I can't move anything. <laughs> You know, he wants me to do backflips. I, I don't even know what probably fall on my head. You know, you want me to end my career? <laughs> but anyway, so I gave it a shot. Uh, so, yeah, so I went down to uh, Prince Albert two weeks ago for my first rehearsal. So, yeah, so that's also upcoming a uh, real dance, a real koi, um, you know, cultural movie that we busy mm -hmm. with right now. Nice, yeah. nice. How comfortable are you with love scenes? With love scenes? Yeah. Uh, Tell us um, about. I'm always curious, always. <laughs> you, you know, it comes. Uh, it comes with the job. You just have to be comfortable. Uh. Luckily, you know it's not you. It's someone else. Yeah, it's your character. That's the difference. I don't take it with me. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that, that one scene in there, I was like, "Is no halika stout na?" Yeah, that's, that's just, that's just uh, I can I can say proudly that's not Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I read that the, the <laughs> this was actually a very funny um, article that I read about. Mm. There's a rumor that you might be fighting, aka in mm, this. Mm, is mm, that still mm. happening? This um, fight, fight to fight, fight to, to fame, fame at yes. a time. Yeah. Yes. We wanted to man because we were actually busy with a big launch of. Fight to Fame South Africa. Okay. And it has to do with MMA fighting, you know, and all of that. But it was linked to um, a cryptocurrency, you know. Okay. Oh, okay. So you had to, whenever you wanted to see the main event, or that you had to buy a cryptocurrency to get actually a ticket, you know, to get into it. So that was going to be that thing. And then we were looking at someone that can actually, you know, bring in also the numbers. And we were like, nah, AKA, okay, we want to keep it Cape Town mm -hmm. flavor and he needs to be the bad guy. And at a time, he was also looking 
at boxing um, Casper New West. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it's not the same thing. No, it's oh, not I this, thought yeah. it was, okay, okay. So we were looking at a time, but then we figured out, okay, so you might not want to do MMA, but maybe boxing. So we put it out there and we put it out on IOL, there, you know, we put out the challenge, but he never responded. His team never responded, mm. you know. So we, we were, okay, whatever numbers you wanted to come up with, because mm. I think he wanted to fight um, Casper Noves for it's seven million, yes, seven yes. or six million. Ooh. So we would have put maybe on the table like you know three or four, uh, you uh. know, because it was uh, going to be an exhibition fight. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay. And it was mainly you know what I mean. Yeah. So, but yeah, he never or his team never responded, which was sad because mm. I thought I thought you know we, it was just going to be all the name for fun. Mm, mm. I'm way smaller than him. Um, <laughs> I'm way shorter than him. You know, there was going to maybe be a chance for him to win or you would have allowed him <laughs> just give Can him so two or three <laughs> you know because um, he's a big talker it's sad because I thought you know you would have you would have come and represent Cape Town like that you know come through and just maybe because I even contacted him on Twitter you know but does on Instagram. he rip Cape Town you know, I, not as much, Ooh. but he does in his own sort of way. You know, I, I must say he's doing things his way, how he felt he needed to do it. Okay. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, that I can't take away from anybody to be themselves who they think they are. Okay. But I just felt like since he is from Mitchell's play, mm. you know, you could have at least, if he didn't want to do it any of the end of the day, he could have at least said, okay, let's talk. Let's see what, what the idea yeah, is. Mm. From the, yeah. At least that little bit of respect because we yeah. didn't contact him as Mickey Mouse situation. Mm. It's mm. not like we wouldn't want to play around when it, yeah. it was a business proposal. Yeah. You mm. know, to a brand from one brand to another brand. Yeah. And uh, that was the only thing. But yeah, he didn't come through. He didn't reply. Mm. And uh, and we left it there. So also the fight to fame situation also never happened. So, yeah. Is there a possibility that. it could be picked up in the future? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I'm definitely not going to waste energy more again on him, though. Uh, mm-hmm. Not not for any negative reasons, but, you know, we've tried and it's I move on. Mm-mm. Just go not go back to it. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who knows? Who knows what can come <laughs> up? <laughs> so true. <laughs> yeah. What is, uh, so you mentioned that you are going to do a movie with Justin... Um, Oh, I forgot the surname. Redling? Redling Heis, yeah. Yes. Mm. Uh, Redling Heis. Yeah. And then in September, you're going to start shooting your action yes. movie. you acting inside Oyster. Mm. Where do you get the time for all the stuff? Um, like I said earlier, on, man, it's just <laughs> one of those sacrifices that you have to do. Work, 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 work out. Work, 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 work out. Yeah, yeah. It's things, it's just, I've learned. And, you know, talking about these things is not going to bring it, uh, make it, you know, happen. Mm. You just have to start doing it. Mm. The less you talk about it and tell people about it, do it. If yeah. you succeed, if you fail, you fail. You pick it up again to succeed. Yeah. You know, and I set my mind to it. I want to do these two. The one is to shoot a pilot for him because that's really his baby, the series. We're going to shoot that for him now in July, June, July. I want to do it for him. Mm-hmm. And and then obviously my thing, which is in September, September. October. Yeah, that, that one I'm going full out. And, but I told him I don't want to act in this one. I will direct it for him. Okay. You know, and I will up and I'll well, produce it as well. So yeah, that that is the situation there. Mm-hmm. At least that goes into your bio as well, like director. And, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, no. But you know, you gotta have you you have to make time for all of these things. Mm. So true. You have to make time, even doesn't matter how tired you are. Yeah, like I mean, you even got social media on lock. Like every day, there's a story, there's a post, there's yeah. something. I hey man, I have to start all over with my Instagram <laughs> as well because I got hacked. <gasps> Aye, yeah, but you know how it is. You know how it is. You just that's what I'm saying. And I'm what it's three, four months later, and I'm back on what, what I don't, I don't even know. Back on the uh, <laughs> bang. <laughs> yeah, see, I have 20, 20 k followers. You know, so yes, four yo. months. So it's cool. How do you get twenty? Really? <laughs> I don't know. It's like biceps. I'm telling you. I see Bob. Nah, 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 nah. there's, there's definitely other people involved with help me. <laughs> if I can say it's Lauren, like Lauren Joseph, Plasnar. <laughs> You know, uh-huh. yeah, those guys also helped me, so shout out to them. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. And how, so how can we, as Lounge with the Pearls, as community, how can we support our local actors, mm-hmm. like, in, in your opinion? How, how you guys can help Yeah, like, local. like, you know, 
Um, to be honest, um, Maurice, um, I think I probably watched two theater productions ever mm. in my entire life. Mm. One was where you were with um, with Theodore, with Theodore mm. but Platform yeah. Nine. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that was so funny. That was cool. <laughs> I actually loved Seen it. Seen you in a scarf and a hat, and that was cool. Oh, was yeah. Theodore? I can't remember which one now. But that was that was really cool. Um, but yeah, man, like just to support, you mm. know, what can we do? Is it a share? Is it a like? Is mm. it, you know, just coming out to visit? I mean, to be honest, I'm very, um, like still with COVID-19, mm. not in a space where I want to mm. be out. We can just go, yeah. you know, um, because of personal reasons. Mm. Um, but yeah, like what can we do? You know, just as a, a simple way to support our actors and so on. You know, you know, um, to be honest with you guys, I think since you guys have built this platform from scratch, you know, and it's your baby, um, it's the same with you know, like digging into if it, if it's really what you guys want to do, dig into who's the upcoming actors, who's the new actors on, like say, uh, um, Aaron's Flay, mm-hmm. um, some of these new South African movies, you know, uh, theater. Um, do some research on these guys and see actually what what kind of what kind of exposure you can give them. Mm-hmm. Find out their stories, you know. Find out what it is, what's their struggles, and you have them actually just so that people can hear and see who they are. Mm-hmm. You know, since you guys have the platform, yeah. you know, even if it's just sit down or create something for them, build some move. Since you guys have this, build something around it so mm-hmm. that they can come and showcase their talent. And then talk to them, you know, like something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, makes it more entertaining. Yeah. Yes. At the same time, find out who this person is, yes. you know. Because yes. sometimes, you know, um, what I also know, you first have to be in one of these damn soapies before people really want to interview you. Mm. What, now you're famous. Mm. But there's so many talented people out there that doesn't get the opportunity to come sit here where we are sitting and talking mm. about the stuff that they are doing. So do some of them doing okay. more than us. Yes, yes. You know, some of them do more work than us. Yeah, because but you not just the, the person in the front. You get what I'm yes, saying? Which yes. is wrong. Yeah, yeah. Which is wrong because we miss these people that actually said there's so many singers out there. There's so many yeah. dancers out there. Mm. Actors that's far better than me but they don't get the opportunity mm. to actually sit here and, and pre- on platforms like this and say but Listen, this is actually what I do. I can create this stuff now for you and I can perform it right now for you. Mm. You know, which is what some of us can't do. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I think it's, it's, it's if we, and that's what I've done with my podcast, you know, is go and look for these guys and actually sit down. And it's not a, I don't want to mention names now on, um, you know, these TV shows, uh, interview TV shows where you go sit and you'd be very proper. Come come here, be tell yourself. me what is, yes. what is your actual, if you tell can't yourself. come here, let me come to you. Yeah. doesn't matter where you are. Mm. And that's what I have done. You know, is show people that I'm actually interested in your talent. I want to mm. know, I want to see, let put you out there so people can mm. see who you are. Mm. So yeah. next time when they shoot a movie, they can know, okay, now I've seen it on most of the podcast, mm. contact that person because I put all the mm. details mm. for them there, you know. So that's maybe one way to go about it, you know, yeah. search, do, do research and see who's our local actors, who's our local singers, dancers, um, um, there's all kind of people that's mm. in this industry, man, mm. all the artists. The writers. The writers, the yeah. producers, you know, people that want to work behind screen, you know, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. very good with cameras. Yeah, yeah. You I know? think that's, that's, that's very good. That and I think good. that's actually yeah. where we also want to take the podcast, you know, we want to. Yeah, we, we also want to go on the road and, you know, go. Go to the venues, go to the places, yes, interview. Yes, yeah. you know, I mean, why did you start there. with just, you know, getting someone who's doing camera work and mm. doing it as like an internship for you guys, shoot it lively, let him edit it. Mm. That's, a, that's a learning progress yep. for him. Mm. Meantime, he also showcases, he can work if he's maybe studying stuff, you know what I mean? He can shoot whatever it is you have yep. to do, let him edit exactly. it. And that's how you actually start employing him and see whatever you can do, mm. even if it's a thousand rand, you give him a month or whatever the case may be. That's how he gets his work done. Mm. He doesn't have to sit and wait for the work on a TV thing or a movie thing. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, advertise or whatever the case yeah. may be. It's right here, home ground. We say, nah, come shoot our stuff. It might mm. be not where, yeah. it, where, it, where it needs, where it is, where it's supposed to be but like now. Something. But it's something. Uh. You grow your skills. You, we grow. We grow together. Mm. Boom. Oh. That's a powerhouse. If we start at the bottom with everybody mm. together, that's awesome. Thank yeah. you, Maurice, for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice, we have actually come to the end of our interview. Lekker. 
uh, thank you so much. Uh, like I mentioned earlier on, for carving out time because clearly you are busy. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. another thing, where can people find you? Yes. You know what platforms? Uh, Facebook, uh, yeah. Instagram, like you said, yeah, uh, Twitter yeah. maybe or. Yeah, no, no, no. Instagram is mainly Maurice page and uh, Facebook Maurice page, of course. Twitter mm-hmm. and uh, and it's P A I G E. There we go. Oh, yes. yes, not P A G E. Yeah, P A I. Yeah, it's special. I. Yeah, that's mainly where you can get me. Yeah, and on site was though, of course. Yeah, if you want. As a little jump over, see any six pack. Um, and um, just uh, uh, um, remind us again why we must all tune in to St. Oyster from now on. Yeah, well, this is going to be probably my first time that I'm ever going to do marketing for <laughs> for St. Oyster <laughs> like this. Um, but yes, um, please, man, uh, you know, there's a story is going to happen now uh, from June, July. Mm. Um, we're gonna, we're, we're Tyron is going to do very, it's a very twist to his life okay. you know it's something that i think is going to be very interesting very very overwhelming as well for our viewers especially mm-hmm. cape town people and the story most important is going to be home ground it's okay. going to be you know what people needs to see and i think you know it's the story that i i think i'm going to put up or try to put out the best performance that I've ever, ever done in my life. So wow, I'm really sure. digging into something here that I've never done before. I think I'm going to do it because I'm really, really, you really investing into it. it yeah. Yes. So uh, it's another part of Tyrant that you will see. And um, Sid Wooster, of course, you know, I'm really impressed. I'm really happy with the story that they put out now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, Loungers. Thank you, Maurice. And um, stay tuned for our next podcast. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Enjoy, guys. Yo, Kimo! It's your boy, DT. We're Lunet. We're Lunet. And some force to be fresh and so clean.